All right, class. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to find in this video the domain and range of a relation. Let's start off with writing a relation. We're going to write a set of ordered pair. So how about 5 comma 1 and negative 3, 2. And let's see, 8, 14. That sounds good. And we'll pick one more point. Mm, how about 7, 2? All right, the domain, also known as the inputs, is the set of x values. So we write our set bracket notation. The x values are the inputs 5, negative 3, 8, 7. It does not matter if we put them in order. They don't have to be. I'm just going to put mine in order from smallest to largest. So we have negative 3, we have 5, we have 7, and we have 8. Close our braces. That means we closed the set. That is the set of the domain. And then our range is the output values or the set of y values. So we have 1, 2, 14, and you notice the 2 repeats. We do not have to list it a second time. So I could just write 1, 2, and 14. And there is our range. 